Okay, and now on to repair the third and last scratch uh, on this job. And this one is a tiny scratch on a peak, and um, which worries some people, but uh, you just have to approach it a little bit differently than usual. We're gonna do this repair a little bit differently, removing the sanding discs from the foam sanding block. And we're gonna use our hands to let the disc curve around the peak. And um, we're gonna sand very lightly, curving the disc around the peak. And we're just gonna do a couple uh, passes at a time, wipe the residue, check the progress, and repeat. Even though the scratch is short, it's uh, rather significant, it's deep, it's down through the clear coat pretty far. So we'll have to do a little bit of work, uh, very careful work to get this out. But um, we're pretty much done with the scratch removal with the 1000 grit. We're gonna move on to the 3000 grit and uh, refine things. I'm gonna use a little bit of strippies here, clean the area perfectly before we get the 3000 grit on it. Um, the 3000 grits and while well, all the discs soak in clean, um, distilled purified water when you get it out there's no contaminants on the surface of the sanding paper to dig into the paint any deeper cause more damage so as you can see I'm using light pressure with the joints of my finger kind of uh, bent around the the ridge or the peak or better yet to describe it bending the the disc around and wrapping around the edge or the peak as to not put more pressure on one area than the other. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so we're gonna wipe away the residue and we're gonna check the area, check the progress repeatedly. The repair looks good so far. I could see no signs of the thousand grit sanding marks. So it's time to grab the 5,000 and remove the 3,000 grit sanding marks. Again, with extremely light pressure, um, we're just sort of wrapping the disc up over and around the peak as to um, get even pressure throughout the whole area. I use this method um, when there's a scratch on any peak or any sharp contour or the, the tip of any panel or fender. Um, and I take the sandpaper or sandpaper disc off the block and I'll just let it wrap around the affected area or um, the scratched edge and try to get the pressure evenly um, dispersed and not just on one area, removing the clear and uh, getting into trouble that way. This looks good and ready for the next step. So we're gonna get our three inch Grios Garage polisher and uh, three inch pads. We're gonna get some Angel Wax compounds we're going to start with a, um, a cutting compound, get down some of the refinement on this surface. We're going to step to an ultra fine after that, and that will be the pre-wax or the pre-sealant or the pre-coating um, step that we're going to take care of last. I removed the tape so we can make the um, area that we're compounding a little bit larger than what we were sanding. Again, that's part of the blending in process. Slow arm movements with very light pressure, um, just enough uh, pressure from your hands to guide the tool. Um, that's, a, that's important for these last two steps in getting an ultra refined surface before wax or sealant of ultra fine here comes an ultra fine polish this is going to be part of the last step um, and we are finished repairing all the scratches on this tailgate Let's wipe off this residue very carefully, very lightly with a clean uh, edgeless microfiber and that should do it.
As for the rest of the truck, it was going over with a um, specialized black paint uh, brightener right before the coating. I'm going to cover that product. It's called Seal B by Ardex in a future video. Okay, so the scratches have been completely eradicated. The black paint has been gone over completely with the um, Seal B by Ardex. Uh, it's been protected. Now it's time for me to move on and finish the inside. And you guys um, go on and have a great day. Brian from Apex Detail, we'll catch you next time.